to log into 3D Game Lab and uh, what the interface looks like. And the interface is all the buttons and different things to click on on the screen. Uh, first thing, your game attack and password you're going to need to know. These you either got an orientation or uh, perhaps you got them in an email from me. So here I'm going to go to one of my profiles um, just to kind of test it out. I'm going to go I type in Boy Wonder then I'll type in my password. And if I'm on my own computer or my own device, I would select Remember Me to keep me from typing it in um, every time I need to uh, go back to it. Uh, if you're on somebody else's computer or a public computer, you're going to want to deselect that. I'm going to check it because I'm on my computer. Uh, you will hit Sign In. And from here, it's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. It will have your gamer tag right here and your avatar here. And if you don't have an avatar, I'll show you how to put one. And your classes um, are going to be here. For example, the only class you're going to be in for right now is the um, Summer Broadcast Camp. But I'm not going to click on that one because I don't have a quest yet ready. But, so I'm going to stay in the Student Council one. But that would say Summer Broadcast Camp. Um, the logout button's here. The help button doesn't work yet. Uh, there's a wiki that um, is associated with that help button and it's not set up. Okay, uh, your system points is the experience points you would get from your classes in total. So if, even if you were in four different classes and you're getting a bunch of XP from doing each of them, uh, that grand total of all of them added together would go here. Uh, but for individual classes, like this one right here, your class XP would go where it says group. There will be a progress for it. You started doing quests and then it will show you how many XP points you've earned. Uh, and then your ranking in the class, whether you're first in a class or fifth in a class, it would show right here. Your number will be there. Um, I'm not ranked yet because you notice I don't have any XP yet. But the ranking chart for at least student council right now is uh, newbie, member, officer. Um, you get these by completing quests to get XP. So the more XP you get, the higher ranking you get, just like in the video game. The more experience points you have, the better your ranking. Uh, you can click on your gamer tag to bring up your player card, which will show all the numbers and statistics and facts about you and the quest that you've been working on. A lot of information goes right here. Notice it's empty because I haven't done anything yet with this uh, profile. Very important to you uh, with selecting your avatar is going to edit profile right here in blue and you're going to as you as you can see boy wonder that is Robin from Batman I've had some fun with this uh, profile uh, his real name is Dick Grayson where's the lead of Gotham City I just had some fun with him um, change that avatar we are going to find where it says avatar if you have an image there good if not you're going to want to click on browse and get a picture from the internet or a picture that you like, save it to your computer, and then click on browse and then find it on your computer. And then you hit open, and when you did that, it'll pop up here. And then you hit update, and your avatar will change to that. Um, the next feature you'll notice is right here where it says quest. This is what you saw when I first logged in. It always gives it this first. How many quests I have available to do? There's four. How many quests have I started but not completed? There's one. And then any quest that I completed and got XP for, it would be right here. Uh, as you can see, I've completed no quest. Um, the available ones, I have a Teen Titan, and I have one in progress, Introduction to Speed Pro. Now, to do a quest, um, you're going to click on it, and when you click on it, there's a lot of information right here. How much XP you get from the quest, uh, about how long it takes to complete the quest, and then the rating. The cool thing about the rating is the teacher doesn't rate the quest. Students, as um, they complete the quest, they can rate them from five star to one star. And there's been a few, this quest has been done by a few student council members already, and it has a rating of four and a half, which is pretty good. It tells me the students like it. Uh, then the category, this tells me it's just a uh, you know, it's just a 101 uh, introduction type um, quest. Right here, we'll give you the directions to the quest, what you need to do to complete it. And if you are starting a new quest, 
Let me go back. If you were starting a new quest, it would have start quest. But since this one is in progress, and I click on it, it just says in progress. You're going to click it, and you will read and see what you need to do for the quest. Maybe you watch a video, maybe you read some stuff, uh, do whatever the quest asks. When you're done, hit complete. This pops up, and this is where you put in the assignment. If you need to attach something, like a uh, picture or a Word document or um, a video or just whatever, you can hit Add Attachment, and this option pops up right here. If you you can also just play around with this right here. You can add in a video, on the internet, or you can upload a picture, an image from your computer. Um, there's a lot of options through here. I'm not going to go through detail in detail, but there's a lot of options right here. And then of course, if you just need to respond with some text, like respond with text, you can put in your text right here. And you would, when you're done, you would hit submit. You heard the ding. That lets you know that the submit uh, went through. Your next feature is, it says right here, please enter your completion time, rating, and any comments for this quest. This information will be publicly viewable. That means all students will be able to see it. How long did it take you to complete? Oh, maybe about 10 minutes. Uh, the rating, okay, I kind of like it. It's four star, three star, let's go with four. And then maybe you want to comment on this for other students to see. Uh, a quick quest. Uh, learn how to um, open a discussion booth. That was one of the things in the video. You hit submit, and you're going to notice that if you refresh this, you'll notice the XP has been awarded. 45, and then you're ranking the class. Uh, is that a 35? Okay, uh, so completed the quest move there. If I have any in progress, people just completed one. And then there are more quests now. Actually, because I completed the first quest, I have more quests that opened up, which is something that's common. Um, not all the quests that are in the system are available to you when you start. As you complete certain quests, more will open up. Okay, uh, the next thing, really quick, uh, you can get rewards, badges, and achievements for completing quests. Um, here's a badge right here for um, doing the introduction to Stuka. This is like a membership badge. But then you can get all kind of badges throughout for different things. Um, every class is going to have different awards, badges, and achievements. The group just lets you know those who are in the group. So these are like all the students in the class. You can see I've uh, signed up a number of students already that have begun working on the uh, student council quest. Announcements is like an email or a message from um, the instructor. So this will be from Mr. Ben. And it would pop up here. Like originally I had one that just said welcome. This would be a first announcement. 